Hi everybody, I am a dog groomer and I make videos of dogs being groomed. Do you ever wonder what's going on at the groom shop after you drop your dog off? Well, I'm about to show you. My 830 dog is here and I am just going to walk him right up the ramp. And he just jumps on in. I don't lift big dogs because I have a bad back. So he's not really a big dog, but he is. Because he's short, but he's still long. So I let him walk himself up the ramp and jump in the tub. This little guy right here is still a little bit wet. I'm about to, when I'm done with the white dog, um... I'm going to get him back out and finish blow drying him. And he's my first haircut. But I usually have two dogs here at a time. i got to get them both washed and dried before they're haircut. I have him rinsed off. His shampoo rinsed off. I'm just going to put some conditioner on him now. Make him nice and soft. I should probably dilute this, but it takes too much time. I don't got time for that. I dilute it. <laughs> I dilute it after I put it on him. So I blow dried him for just a minute and now I'm going to put him in his cage while I clean up my mess and finish blow drying him. Look, get me, I got to get him out of the tub and get him out of my way so I can rinse the tub out. Excuse me, calm down so he knows he's done. Hold on, hold on. Okay, let's go. Get in the cage. Over here. Whoop. All right, I have to finish drying him. He's getting a number five blade all over. Tail trimmed, just a short face and short ears. Let me fix this, there we go. Get my mask on and start drying his legs because they're still wet. All right, number five blade. I just go in the direction of the growth because if you go against the growth, it gets shorter. It'll be very short. He is a pretty big dog, even though he's low to the ground. Probably weighs close to 50 pounds, I would guess. 45, 50, probably.
am just shaving the pads of his feet out with a 30 blade. Going to shave the base of his tail with a seven blade. That gives it a little bit of style and helps it stay clean. They, you don't want hair all around their butt area. I'm going to use a seven on the inside of his back legs. Why am I wearing this mask? I'm <laughs> take that off. I don't know. I like to wear it when I'm shaving the body, but the rest of the dog, I'm not, I'm not wearing it. That's a seven blade. That just keeps it nice and short. So it stays clean. I'm going to switch blades. I'm going to use a tin blade to shave out his belly. All right. So now I am trimming up all of his legs and feet. Because even though I use the clippers on his legs, I still have to go back and trim them all up with the scissors. He is a little wiggly for his front legs, but he doesn't bite. At least not yet. Trying to stay out of the way. Okay, I'm going to take my long straight scissors and my comb. Just trim his leg up, pull it all out and scissor it straight. I see how he puts his head down. I can't see what I'm doing. Okay, I'm going to get my little scissors and tr trim between his toes. If I can find them, there they are. So if I, I've already done this foot. This foot's nice and short. Okay, we're going to have to raise your head because I can't see what I'm doing. That's what he's trying to do. He's trying to block me with his head. They all do that. Yeah, pick your head up. This opening up his toes with my fingers, spreading his toes apart and just scissoring between. If you don't cut this hair out, their feet can get really gross, really dirty and matted in between the toes. And that can be really hard to get mats out from between the toes. For you, not for me. <laughs> but if you guys are trying to get them out, because you don't have the right equipment, right tools. Get my perm scissors and just round this up. Brush it all down, sideways, up, back and forth. Make sure you get all the hairs out from between the toes. He's a cute little dog. I wish I knew what he was mixed with. I'm going to read his file. Hold on. Okay, well, 
His mother says he's a King Charles Cavalier Spaniel and a Maltese. No. <laughs> no, he's not. <laughs> How do I know? Well, for one thing, he has an underbite. So there's that. And Maltese's don't have underbites, or they're not supposed to. Any dog can have an underbite. And King Charles don't have underbites. They're not supposed to. But I would go with maybe Lassa Poo, a Lassa and Poo, because he's kind of curly. Lassa Poo and I don't know. Mystery. I mean, Maltese could be in there somewhere because he's white. Maybe, maybe he's a bunch of different things. Maybe he's got King Charles in him. I don't know where she got those breeds. He's a rescue, so a lot of times when you get stuff from a shelter, they don't, they don't, they don't know breeds. And they come, people come in here with all kinds of crazy thoughts about what their dogs are from the shelter because they don't know what they're talking about. I'm going to cut your nails. We'll let you relax your head just a little bit. There we go. I got to see what I'm doing. Hold on. And they're pretty long. He comes every couple months. Hey, check for dew claws. You've got a dew claw. Okay. I'm almost done. His whole body is done. I did a five blade on his ears and his head. And I'm just going to trim up his face. I'm in slow motion today. I'm running behind. Some days, some days I move slower than other days. I don't know. I told this lady. Her dog would be done by 11, and it's almost 11. But that's okay. She, she said, well, I may be late. And I was like, good, because I had a feeling this dog was going to take longer. I don't know. I hate rushing. It just ruins your whole day. All right, shaved out the corner of his eyes in here with a tin blade. I'm just going to trim his face up really short, but I need to stop talking and finish this dog, so I'll be back when I'm done. Trim up his mouth real quick. Comb it all out. Nip off the front because they're always going to pull in their hair with their tongue. They pull it into their mouth. It's going to round this out. Just trim his face nice and short. Pull it all down and trim off the corner here so it's round. I just got to clean his uh, ears and dress him up. I finished just in time. I told his mother he would be done by 11, and luckily she's not here yet, even though she said she had to go to work. But still, when you give people a time, they, they come at that time. It's like it never fails. Even when they say they're going to be later, they still come because you said 11. And I should, I should have just said I would call her when he was ready. But anyway, going to spray him down with some conditioner. Wipe him down with a baby wipe, fragrance free. Baby wipe makes him nice and soft, wipes off all those scraggly hairs, loose hairs from his haircut. I'm spraying some water on here, gonna wipe his face off, make sure his eyes are cleaned out. 
Hold on. This face doesn't really look even. Let me go over this one more time. Yeah, he knows he's done. Look at the tail. Yes, you're done. He knows. They know. <laughs> they know everything. All right. Hold on. We're going to get you a bandana and dress you up. Look at this cute crunchy I found in my stash. I didn't make this, but I bought this last year and it's, uh, it's still in there because it's for fall and I guess we ran out of time. See, it's got little pumpkins on it. I do make these for the dogs, but I didn't make this one. Like, he's happy. Do you like that? Yeah? He, he wants to wear this one. He likes it. Okay. Fits perfect. Let's just stand up and show everybody how cute. Stand up. There we go. You, he doesn't like to stand. But you've got to stand because you're on TV. See how cute that is? Stand up. See? Turn around. People are watching. All right, we're done.